All right, we're back for round two. This hand is a pretty loose. We need to basically draw all spells. We do have our colors. Oh, this is pretty much blank until late game. Hmm. I think I'm gonna mulligan this. Ugh. Not what I'm wanting to do, but I'm gonna keep it. Huh. So it looks like Simic was a little bit overdrafted. <laughs> that was a terrible draw. Alright, that's alright. Okay, he's got a sprite going. Alright, perfect timing. He's gonna pass the turn. Yeah, so it looks like he's just straight Simic. I'm just going to Gruel Charm here, which I can't do, just kidding. Alright. Um, I'm going to play the Sprite, I think. Evolve my guy and beat in. I can always cruel trauma another time. This is an interesting line. I'm surprised he did this. Hands of binding, okay. So he's going to gain some tempo, but I'm going to get him with the Gruel Charm, I think. Sure. Ooh, another burst of strength. Huh. Alright, I'm just going to pass the turn. Yeah, all right. Now I'm gonna get him. I don't think there's anything you can do. Yeah. Well, that was a blowout. I think. That's right. It does it to each creature. That's all right. All right. Cinder Elemental is good draw. Play out that bad boy and pass the turn. I want to. I want this to be a three-three or bigger. So I'm gonna wait on that. Semi key rune is fine with me. That's a good draw. All right. Let's gonna attack there. If he wants to trade, I'm fine with that. And we're just going to pass the turn. Sure, Crisis is fine. I think I'm going to actually just pit fight. Or I was going to kill that now. Miming Slam. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Uh. Yeah, I guess it's going to be a 2-2. Two -two. I mean, it's not great, but it, it uh, gets something on the board. 
It looks like it's flooded out a little bit. Roll key iron, that's a good draw. Alright, let's beat down. Play the key rune. And say go. Guild mage, okay. We're definitely going to need to pit fight that, I believe. Okay. So we're going to play land. Attack. I think we're going to activate Gruel Charm and then... I should have attacked the gold charm instead, actually. That was kind of a loose play. But, that's alright. Yeah, definitely should have just attacked first. Gotten in some damage, gotten in some damage, because he's clearly not going to block with this. And, uh... Um... And then my me slimed after combat, but what can you do? I suppose we could have waited on this, but I, won't, I really wanted to get something on, on the board. Hands up binding, okay. Fine with me. Yeah, I think I, I want to see how greedy is it to get this guy to be more than a five or four four. It seems pretty greedy. Yeah, this just seems like the right. Pl oh wait, I can't cast it. Just kidding. That was dumb. Okay, so we're just gonna play the uh, disciple out there. And then, uh, we just pass the turn. We can always pit fight at instant speed. And we're definitely going to do that. There we go. Not sure. And we're just going to slam down the prime speaker. Oops. Yeah, this card's pretty nuts. <laughs> yep, most certainly. Alright, so Simic. So we learned this card's or excuse me, this card's pretty terrible. I don't but I don't like the act of treason on the draw. In fact this card did not, nothing that game. So we're gonna put down the tower defense and see what happens. Obvious Mulgan, I think. And this is not great, but a little bit better. It has one of our bombs in it, and we have a couple spells that we can presumably play if we just draw a land. This one, obviously, we can.
a Gruel Guildgate would be a great draw right now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. How impressive. I'm like LSV right here. Oh, boy. That might get out of hand. Though we do have time to deal with it. Um... Yeah, definitely just going to play the Disciple and pass the turn. I will definitely trade with this, should the opportunity present. So we could have Bursts of Strength. And I... Yeah, we saw two of them last game. I don't think I want to block here. Now that I think about it. Okay. So, I think here we're just going to play the Slaughterhorn and pass the turn. Okay, looks like he has a slow draw. I'm not really sure what's going on. Greenside Watcher is pretty decent because we have a gate out there. Now the question is, do we want to continue to play around Burst of Strength? Probably not, because he would have attacked if that was the case. I'm not exactly sure. Though I can't really imagine what he, what else he would have. Because, because we played we played the Batterhorn, Slaughterhorn last turn, yeah. Okay. So he probably didn't want to... He probably wants to get this guy, so I'm just going to attack with the Slaughterhorn. Okay, I'm going to play the Watcher and pass the turn. Okay. Do not care about that. So we got an island. So we can totally lost if that's what we want to be doing. The question is do we want to I think we want to attack with So we're definitely going to play this land. The question is, what do we want to attack with the Watcher? And I think the answer is yes. Because so we can play the Guild Mage. Oh, no, we can't do that, actually. I was thinking we could play the Guild Mage in Pit Fight, but that's not going to work. I think we do. We want to get in a lot of damage, I think. And here, I think we're just going to play the Guild Mage and pass. Oops. Okay. Hmm. Okay. That is pretty good. I think we're just going to take that, I think. So we can play land, totally lost the Guild Mage, or excuse me, the Wasteland Viper. Attack with everything, he's, he's forced to trade. And then... Hmm. Yeah, I like... 
like this better. So we're going to put that back on top. And force him to trade here. He's probably going to trade with the, the guild mage, I think. He could still have burst of strength here, which would be pretty bad for us. But that's kind of hard to play around that card when when it's so cheap. Yeah. Does he just kill us here? Maybe. Verdant Haven. Okay. It's the same thing. Hmm. Well then. I think we still want to... play the Prime Speaker. He's going to be able to draw a lot of cards. Well, I think we definitely need to kill the guild mage this turn because he's going to be able to untap and draw a whole bunch of cards. So if that's the case, we're just going to have to. Um, Play the Croconura. Um, I guess pit fight the Watcher and the Guild Mage. It forces us to draw another land for Prime Speaker, but so I guess maybe the Disciple is better. We definitely need to get rid of that. So the question is, do we jump? So he's attacking with both. And that's lethal, so we have to jump, okay. So we're going to jump with the Croconera. Last thoughts, okay. Uh, yeah, we're just going to have to go for it. Okay. This is looking pretty promising. We're going to be able to trade with the Snapjaw, hopefully. And then play the sprite and be able to uh, just peck in there. Yeah, I'm obviously gonna block.
that also works. So I think the plan, are we, we just kill him? Hmm, that's kind of risky. So we can't attack with both in his slaughter horn, whatever he doesn't block. So I'm just going to play it safe. And... So... Um, yeah, we're going to play it safe, play the sprite. And then play the Cinder Elemental. And then pass the turn. Yeah, we got there. Wow, okay. Um, our, our, our pile of a deck is, is, is seemingly doing okay. Um, yeah, I mean, this card's obviously nuts. <laughs> and wins games on its own, um, but we—I we, mean—we do have a good collection of cards, and I think Rug is is definitely playable in this format, just because I think they work. The guilds work so well together, uh, just because Gruul has such huge guys, and um, you know Simic needs those big guys in order to evolve them, and not to mention that Simic already wants to play a bunch of uh, creatures, anyways, and so Gruul gives you access to. Uh, combat tricks in addition to that in the form of Blood Rush. So uh, I'll, pa or I'll we'll be back for the final round in just a bit.